an improvement in the market today, an improvement in the market yesterday. So yes. things have turned for the NSC. Yes, it has. And it Barak to all our Muslim viewers. What I'd say is that looking at uh, the, the trend going forward, we're shedding off what I would call the holiday the holiday blues. If you notice over the period, the market had actually slumped. There was a lot of profit taking, but now we are back in business. And as today has indicated, those are small signs of the way forward as you move into the month of September going on to October. All right. Active counters today, one of the better performers yes. was KPLC. The market's been expecting yeah. very good results from this company. What are the fundamentals that make this one a good stock? Well, first and foremost, if you notice that there's been a very huge increase in terms of demand for power and uh, KPLC is at the forefront being the main connector in terms of power within Kenya and you notice that there's a key pro a project that was set up called the rural electrification project that has actually widened in terms of the clients coming on board. This has actually helped in terms of uh, the bottom line for KPLC then there's been sound management the whole mismanagement issues of the past are a thing of the past for them. And then going forward, a lot of uh, investors are looking at it more or less as a blue chip investment because it's a utility investment. Since you'd have, uh, you have your power generation, which is Kengen, then you have the energy distribution or the power distribution, which is KPLC. That has actually augured well with a lot of investors, mostly corporate investors, and one or two of what you'd call uh, the more domestic investors. Okay, also continuing a good performance is CFC's Stanbeck Holdings and also Bamburi mm -hmm. Cement. Can you talk to us about these ones? CFC will have been very impressive in terms of their model. You notice that uh, after the merger, they've actually come out much stronger. They've actually been able to grow their business. They've been a niche bank too in terms of uh, medium to small enterprise in terms of their focus. But a lot has been brought down to the traditional banking model, which is more or less minimize what you call the bad loans portfolio and maximize in terms of lending and also make lending much more favorable. If you notice that the lending rates have been one of the most favorable within the market as compared to some of the competitors. Then also is the banking environment. They're moving the bank, creating what they call a banking situation whereby they target what are called the, the ERPs or you'll notice that people with the middle income and slightly high income and that has also helped them more or less in terms of bringing in business for their organization. Carb Asset Investment made a good showing today. Why is that? Demand for, if you notice Carb Asset, after the debacle, the whole thing of uh, trying to merger with BOC, there was that big debate about it that fell through. But even when they were actually had been suspended from trading, they were actually very profitable because of the way they've been running their business in terms of the demand. There's a lot of construction going on. There's a lot of gas that is utilized in the hospitals. But also is their model, how they position themselves and how the business has been running. And then it also helps that the only demand they have currently in the market has been BOC for more or less the carbon dioxide, gas, and what have you, you know this is the dry ice business. They've been able to model themselves and actually have grown with leaps and bounds. And also being a locally owned company has also gone uh, to their advantage in terms of how they've set up, how they've grown. But like I said, and I've always said before, one of the key things that is proving profitable for most companies or is proving attractive has been sound management and ability to divest and ability to also mm -hmm. make changes with the enabling environment.